continue to check we can select this option if we wanted to see that which element is not connected to the voltage which it become to the gray color project information we have already checked this in the previous part we can set the information for the project and it can be seen in the report the standard we can set ANSI or IC standard 50 or 60 hertz and we can set the standard for our project here settings we can change yes 295 kilowatt power flowing from the utility and 292 is receiving by the load if you wanted to understand deeply we should uh, also evaluate the diagram logically why it is 292 for example we have set it 300 by why it is 292 answer is because of the voltage drop voltage here is 90 percent so we have this reduction if voltage is 100 percent of course we have 300 and then we should ask why we have this voltage drop it is due to the impedance of the transformer which needs some active and reactive power also 296 is flowing from the source 292 is using by the load and 4 kilowatt is using by the transformer then we should select cb type molded case power cb or air circuit breaker and isolated case breaker which is kind of molded case breaker we usually use molded case if you wanted to cut a circuit uh, which has less than 3000 ampere and if the ampere is less than 6000 we should use the power cb or acb later in the library also we can select this cb type but once we select the cb from the library this parameter and the standard parameter will be disabled and we cannot do any changes here in the rating page we can enter the generator rate active power in megawatt nominal voltage and power factor if we enter these values, apparent power and FLA or full load ampere will be calculated and shown automatically. Yes, as you can see, 11.547 kilo amp is the short circuit current in this bus bar. This value is equal to the short circuit rate of the power grid. If we change the power grid short circuit rate, then this current also will be changed. Next group is motor contribution. If we set motor status here and in the motor parameters we set the status as a, a spare or zero load, this motor will not be contributed in the short circuit calculation. We can also set zero load. This black contains filters and functions to convert voltage and current to the sequence values. Sequence value, I mean positive, negative and zero sequences. This block contains functions to convert sequence value to impedance value for phase and ground. And here we can see impedance value for each phase and ground loops. And these overcurrent functions are connected to the CT according to the diagram. Overcurrent functions are not using the summation of the CTs, but this function and C2130. We have calculated the pickup current. 200% of the maximum current and we should set 502 as a pickup value it may you may find different relay 7 phase over current 51 element detect the fault and issue the signal after 10 milliseconds the cb clear the fault and open the cb here the minimum delay of the cb operation is 10 milliseconds if it is more it may the coordination between these two relays are not to be okay Let's set 60 milliseconds as the minimum delay time and check the coordination. Yes, here is the voltage, current and I0 curve for each phase, for a phase to phase or a B fault. As we can see, I0 is almost zero. So we cannot detect this type of fault with the ground element in the relay. In other words, relay ground element can only pick up the fault, which is the ground type. Either phase to ground, phase to phase to ground or three phase to ground. According to statistics also, more than 90% of the fault in the power system is the ground type. And we use a specific protection function for this fault type, for example overcurrent ground element 50N and 51N. A relay can calculate this current from the inputs, I mean IA, IB and IC connected to the relay terminals. And there is another option, yes this one is 7SKIT relay. In Dixie for training, I have explained it how to configure the relay. First, we should active each function in the device configuration. Here we can active the overcurrent element in the relay and select the curve standard, IEC or either NC. 
In the power system data, we can set the general settings like CTPT connections and CTPT settings. Here also we can see the sequence of operation if at least and analyze it to be sure it is working. Yes, now the cable damage curve is on the right side and the relay protecting the cable properly.